What's good, folks? So today we are focusing on layering audio. My setup may look a little different from usual on my YouTube. I have a different setup. That's because right now I am using my laptop. My voice may also sound a little different because I'm just using my iPhone mic. And so uh, I have a mobile setup, but I would want to share something really cool with you guys. So say, for instance, we are comping vocals. This is what I was doing the other day. Comping vocals and just rather do stuff like this where I can select different parts of audio and different takes that I have. Now, you can achieve this inside of Studio One just by activating your takes to layers, okay? But say, well, in my situation, I've already had different than several channels because I did not know I can do that. And so I already had about maybe six channels maybe you know six different vocals the, the the vocalist sang the song or the lead part the same exact way but every time she sang it it was done a little bit differently you know and so i like you know different parts of the song just to you know take different you know what i mean this is basically comping comping so I was trying to figure out a way to a easy way to do this, even after the fact that I've already recorded everything. So um, I've discovered, you know, just messing around. I have uh, this is my bass here. And again, this is not vocals. This is just I'm just using these as an example. And then here's my strings. And then my drums. All right, so we're just going to use this for example. All right, so this is what I found that I can do here. I can add, and this is what I would rather do, actually. I, I would rather add a fresh new audio track, all right? And I'll just label it music comping, you know, just for the sake of this video. Something really quick, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're gonna make this stereo in this sense. Um, yeah, so that's fine. So here's here's my, 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 my comping track, all right? So there are a couple of ways you can visit the, you know, the area that you need to go in order to add a layer. So we're gonna add a layer, you can, you know, right click on there and add a layer, layer from here, or you can just go straight to the top here and, go here all right so we're going to add a layer to this now nothing really happened because it happened in the background you have to span it even if i went to this channel you know say if i say if i wanted to start just from this channel or this track if i say add layer here okay this is what will happen let me see if i can Okay, this is what what happens here. It'll definitely add to layer. All right, and then I just have to add new layer each time. So, but in this instance, what I want to do is this. Okay, I'm gonna put that up there. Then we're gonna say add to layer. Now, this is what I was trying to get to. <laughs> I got kind of lost for a second, but um. It disappeared like wait what happened what happened to my track well you have to expand the layers and that's that's what happens and this is my f my first layer here so actually what I want to do is take this track here well I can't move it sorry can't move that but I could definitely move this here and I can either duplicate this or add another layer here we're gonna just go here and add another layer. And and the reason why we're doing this, guys, again, is so we can comp. And and basically it's selecting different areas of these three different things. I should have what I should have did was had some drums and had different articulation from each. Um that's pro that probably would have been a, a better example. But these three here, I can just easily remove these with no problem so now the tracks are involved in this one copy so this is basically how this is done all right so say for instance eh, we like the the string okay we like that but then i want to bring this in the bass part 
right there and then and, and so what we are achieving right here is the same as if I was to record say 10 different takes of vocals or whatever bass line it could be a guitar it could be a piano it can be whatever you want and you know and this all of this is just dealing with audio you take different parts of a song or different parts of that audio and you know I can even just you know select that little you know what I'm saying you just fill it up this can be achievable or this is achievable even if I did not record everything in as in the beginning you know as as a as a, as a take to a layer or whatever so this is going to sound crazy but now actually that sounds pretty cool i'm gonna be honest with you i, I love different it, it sounds different and it, this is wow this this, it, this right here opens up possibilities to new and exciting ideas doing it like this um wow this is pretty cool but this is how it is done you know i have several you know vocals and i'll just select and and you know what i mean and everything this is my comping track up here this is the final up here but you guys just see me combine it's almost like combining three tracks and it's just you know instead of cutting and and hiding or or you know what i mean doing all that other stuff that that's the long way this this seems to be like a pretty cool way of, of doing it so i can get rid of everything and have this just one track all right so that's pretty cool and what makes it even cooler is i can move this stuff around all all that i want to if i bring it down here it's a it's you know fresh new track wow this is i like this this is pretty cool i sort of just went out on a limb on this video to see what other how far i can go with this and, and as you can see i can just break it apart if i want to and i want to say that these are non-destructive absolutely non-destructive there we go this is pretty cool <laughs> this is pretty cool and this will be another reason why i switched to studio one because this is awesome that's awesome new ways new possibilities you can do everything you want but say you didn't want to do that and do all the extra stuff i'm doing there's your one track, you know, all I did was undo. You can actually take take this. And I want to say you can merge them together. Like we're going to try. Bam. Merge together. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that is cool. Wow. Wow, that is really awesome. And one, one other thing that I've discovered... In Studio One was like if you was to merge audio together, you still have it's like this is still non-destructive here because you can actually double click on this and go and do further editing. Say like, man, I I, I need to change something, but I already merged it. No, you can go here and still move stuff around. Like say, you know what I just did was very sloppy. So I'm going to make some sense out of this. Say I want, um, let's see if I can delete that. Okay, that's dope. I like that. That's pretty awesome. I didn't want to delete that one. But say, wow, this is pretty awesome. I'm just being, I'm, I'm just like a kid in the candy store doing this video. Had no idea. Well, I had a, a, a clue. Cause I've done this, I've been here before, and I was, you know, it's like, man, that's kind of weird, but it's pretty cool. It actually makes sense. 
So I'm just cleaning up my track. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> the possibilities of new of newness doing it this way is pretty dope. Pretty dope. Pretty dope stuff here. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not rehearse this. This is just something I just stumbled stumbled upon. I was just showing you guys how to layer vocals and discover something else. This is your boy L up, and I thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from this video. Music is art. You are the artist. Paint your picture.